Here's the 1988 Monte Carlo Fender. And uh, that right there is the Rust-Oleum self-etching primer. And uh, a man had just talked about the best, um, the best stuff to put on bare metal, which this, this here for you layman term people, this is bare metal. That shiny stuff right there with the little scratches, that, that bare metal right there. This right here, Bondo, that Bondo, Bondo, that Bondo, bare metal, Bondo, bare metal, and 1988 primer from 1988 when the car was made. Now, a guy just said that the best stuff to spray on bare metal is 2K epoxy self-etching primer. Well, this ain't 2K self-etching primer. This is Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. Self-etching primer. Etches and primes in one easy step. Bonds to metal, aluminum, and more, and stops rust. And that's just one little coat right there. But I still have to use my tool and get all this junk off of here. But the thing about it is, what I'm having a problem doing, because I'm broke, I'm broke Chris, is because what I'm going to do is bedline the inner. I'm going to bedline all this stuff where all that rust is i'm bedlining the whole inside of that motherfucker and this wall here i'm gonna bedline the walls of this shit the problem that i'm having is getting off 13 layers of paint how you get off 13 layers of paint my comments won't let me fucking see any comments because the shit's fucked up but uh this right here Bondo from 1988, okay? This is Monte Carlo Fender. Bondo from 1988 was that color green. That's a weird color, ain't it? I never seen Bondo that color before. But this Fender right here has 13 layers of fucking paint on it, okay? It's got 13 layers of paint, dude. I'm telling you, there's 13 layers of motherfucking paint on it. Now, this was a quarter of a bottle of citrus strip. Got me down to however low. There was a big rust patch right here. It's full of rust. I mean, that was just one big patch. There was there was paint over it. There was paint sprayed over over it but it had bubbled up and turned into a big old bubble of rust right there but that primer citrus strip shit only took off like barely anything it, it didn't do anything now this shit right here you could just scrape that shit off with a razor blade i was just scraping this shit with a razor blade but this stuff is definitely three or four or five centimeters deep right here so there must have been some real damage to the car right there. But uh, as you can see, this was a razor blade just scraped and it hit that Bondo. And that's where it went through the Bondo. So they put this Bondo on over the primer. I think that's kind of gay. But uh, as you can see, here's the top layer of the car paint and citrus strip went all the way down. See, here's some sort of something. Oh, this is where it's bubbling up again. See that right there? Oh, it's rubber. Oh no, it's paint. Well, it's bubbling up and then right there, I'm betting there's rust underneath all that where it's bubbling up because that's what it did here. I mean, that was all rust and it bubbled up and then it was pure rust. And uh, the same thing's probably going on along this line here. It's not this burgundy or whatever. I don't know what fuck color that is. But the trick is, don't be spending no fucking money on Citrus Strip doing something like this. You might as well spend $1,000, get the whole car fucking dipped, de-fucking painted, and then, you know, 
maybe you should do some test samples on etching primer, epoxy, all that shit, you know. And then once you get that, you might as well go buy you a fucking Trackhawk. What the fuck is that?